What's good, everybody? It's Casual Gaming. We're back with some more content. What did you expect? We're back with some settlement survival. And, uh... Whew. We're in a bit of rough shape here. Luckily, we don't have any combat events coming up. Um, but we need to start freeing up some laborers. Because we lost... A bunch of people. We took the initiative to try and take out that bandit camp. Didn't succeed. And then got attacked by a bandit raid. With our first glimpse at elite troops. Um, could have gone better. It could have gone better. But you live and you learn, right? I've never played combat mode before. I'm trying my hardest. Sadly, it looks like this is going to level back up. Um, so we're probably just going to have to let it level. And then... We're going to have to rebuild our troops, make sure that we have more formations before going on to attack that bandit camp, and hopefully knock it out in one go. It says we successfully paid combatants. Let's take all of you off. That frees up three workers. Now, we're getting people that are freezing to death um, every once in a while. Which is a problem. Um, so we need to figure out what we can do about that. We could post two houses a little bit further up. Um, but we plan on putting a farm right there. We did mention putting some houses along this line. And truthfully, I think that would help. Um, so if we get like a marketplace... In here and just put it there I feel like that range isn't as big as the others but maybe that's because it's just showing before the bonuses apply um, but let's get that down so then we can take one out of here Need to keep an eye on our labors. Um, is there any place that desperately needs workers? It doesn't look like it. Um, the problem is, once this Forester's Hut gets built, once the Sawmill gets back up, and once this Quarry gets going again... We're going to have to free up some space. Now, we have plenty of iron at the moment. Coal, I'm not too confident in. Uh, we seem to fluctuate quite a bit with that resource. Mining, we finally have max proficiency. That's awesome news. Eight more levels until we can reach extreme technologies. Start getting that going. Um, but right now, we need laborers. Need to get that cemetery going as well. Um, so I think we're just kind of waiting things out. Uh, you're getting domestic fuel for us. We really only need one person in there. Um, yeah, because you're getting planks. Only need one person in there for now. Forster's Hut's going. The Edict, the Midas Touch. What, what does that mean? What is the Midas Touch? Where are you at? The production cycle of the deep quarry and deep mountain quarry reduced by one day. Not really worried about that. 
That would be where the remainder of our workers went. I think we can afford to put three people in here for now. And then we'll just get three people in the quarry. We're doing pretty well on everything at the moment. We have another eight years until we get another bandit raid. We'll see what level 12 has to offer us. Uh, we could go ahead and get another troop formation. Uh, let's go with the shield. Get that going. Then we're back down to one labor. Uh, we'll get one person out of here. Uh, we'll go ahead and destroy you. Get a second person in here, and let's start getting some houses in this area. Uh, let's just line it up with this pasture for now. And then we'll just start lining them up. Hopefully giving some nice rest spots uh, for workers that are way out here. And then cut stone, we're still doing pretty well on. Uh, so let's get a cut stone road going all the way down to the houses. And then all the way through to here. Might as well finish these roads as best we can. Get a road connecting here. Then I think that's good for the moment. Um, If we go ahead and remove just this one section of road should be able to fit another farm here um we can go ahead and demolish these cemeteries does that mean we need a second crematorium i don't think that used to be a problem before I've never had an issue where, like, so many people are dying at once that the cremator doesn't have time to cremate all the bodies, and then we get a happiness deduction because there's no place to bury these people. Don't think that's really happened before. Alright, now people just seem to be dying of old age. Uh, so I think we're okay there. Don't have any immigrants in the near future. Surprisingly, these houses are staying empty. So maybe that's why the marquee wasn't working? Just because, like, nobody wants a new house at the moment. Um. So you know what? Stop fighting. Maybe we'll put the marquee down here just for the time being. We'll let it sit there for a little bit. See if anybody moves in. See if we take any fuel. Provides food, water, and insulation. A kind of crowded quarter. Living in it will prevent further reproduction suitable as makeshift settlements for immigrants. Let's just check that out. Because maybe somebody will live in there eventually and then get it going with fuel. We have an absurd amount of trees in this area. It'd be nice to start getting some more production going. Um, just don't really have the opportunity. I like my tailors being in this area so it's close to all of our textiles. Um, I wouldn't mind a warehouse in here, though. Latrine, I feel like, needs to be moved. Um, you should be services, latrine. Could fit you by the school. And then you cover a majority of the houses in this area. So yeah, let's get that in. Then we'll go ahead and destroy this one clear out this area a bit and we might even end up putting a warehouse for our textile specifically right here 
Uh, because it's pretty close to all our pastures. Not too far away from the mill. A supply terminal wouldn't be a bad idea either, and to be honest with you, we do want to expand to another farm right here. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this area. I think we kind of need the marketplace here um, just to have houses. For warmth. So even if it's not the most efficient, I think it's still worth to have a marketplace there. Uh, shield formation. You guys can just chill down here for now. Okay. Food is still doing great. Water's doing great. We do have a merchant ship coming in about a year. Seven labors, but we kind of need to just build up troops. I think we just let things play out for a little bit. And, um... Check out the nightlife with all of our pastures. I haven't got a good look at all of our pastures since they have finished being organized and constructed. This is kind of our first look at our turkeys and our sheep. Got our windmills going. What are we out of? Oh, we're out of malt. Need more whiskey being made. Could get anisette as well. Anisette and whiskey have the same stats. Let me go ahead and turn down my game volume. Te tequila is more... Thirst and health, but same stress. And wine is just top notch, but we need grapes. Agave... I believe that's something... We get through trade. Let me take a quick look at our factions. Seeds of tequila. Agave clothes. And tequila. I don't think we can make that stuff until we unlock that uh, reputation. I don't... Is agave something that we can just get a hold of? Or is that what the tequila seeds are? The hospital admitted a patient who was unable to move his limbs. The patient had been in a coma with a high fever for a week, but did not seem to have a life-threatening condition. Doctors had been studying this case for a long time and were at a loss, having never seen this disease. Use conservative treatment to maintain the patient's stability or take risks with drugs that may be effective. Um, seeing as we're low on laborers, let's not take the risk. A few days later, the patient's body mysteriously swelled a lot, but he re regained his health and seemed to be in better health now. Okay, cool. Uh, we have bamboo, we have dates. It'd be nice to get some tiers so we can get these buildings, which we have. Where are we going to put our statues at? Um, and slightly increase happiness. Where do we want to start decorating? I don't feel like we're really ever going to change up this area. Um, I 
a fountain right next to the latrine though? Gross. Where do we want to stick you? What happened? We definitely had the uh, concrete here. Is it because we upgraded the house that I got rid of the flooring? Let's test that real quick with this house. Go ahead and upgrade that. We're up to 10 laborers. Um, we need one more trainee ready to get another formation. I don't know. I feel like everything's not organized yet. So I don't want to just throw our blueprints around. And place these in random areas. I feel like an angel statue slightly increases citizens' lifespan lifespan by the crematorium is a good place to have it. But let's get our angel statue. We'll see how much this increases lifespan by. I mean, maybe not, because I don't think we're really keeping track like that. A lot of our people are around 75. Some are up to 78. But this is going to be a majority of our elder people in here. Um, so I guess that's a good way to keep track of it. Too bad, like, when people pass, you can't click on them to see, like, their stats. Um, is there a way we can see that in the town details? Uh, 97% are educated. That's awesome. Population. Last 100 years. Uh, citizens. I don't think that's going to show it to us. I wish you could see, like, average lifespan. I don't know if there's a way to do that. I don't know. Point shop. I have no idea what this is. The point shop. I don't know how we get these coins. I've never really looked at this stuff before. I'm a fan of the angel statue right there. I feel like it looks good. I feel like the big horn should be by our military stuff. Uh can inspire the citizens and slightly increase their movement speed. Let's get the big horn right here. And then the fountain. Where's a good place for the fountain? I feel like by all our houses. Just don't know where. I don't feel like we're ever going to change this much. Um, but it does look like they dig up the floor when we upgrade houses. So let's just go ahead and upgrade these two. And then, how are we doing on cut stone? Doing fine. Let us get cut stone ground. No. Shockproof cut stone floor. Uh, start in this corner. We're going to go all the way down to the edge of this house. Why can't we put it on here? What's wrong with this house? Well, now I just don't like that because it's ugly. Why is that house not allowing us to do it? Weird. I don't know why that's the case. Alright, those are still getting built. 
nobody's moved into the houses quite yet. Um, builders are dying of old age, but we have enough for people to get replaced. Uh, let's get entertainment. All citizens stress minus 10%. That's a passive ability. That'll be really nice for us. Any other passives that we want to get? Uh, we could get the gear going. That's from the forge. Um, might as well get travel light, caravan remodel. Increases the max caravan numbers in the trading post and water trading post. Sure. Um, river digging. Sure. Brick road. We'll get you for now. Uh, won't worry about this stuff yet. Would like to go through these eventually, especially salt. Uh, we could start making hand carts. Um, but we spent seven skill points right there. Let's go ahead and give it a break. Our angel statue is in. Awesome. We love it. Um, where is decorations? I thought there was like a decorations key. Did they take that away? There are no more decorations in this game. There definitely used to be decorations that you could build. Not looking like it though, which is interesting. I wanted to decorate my town a bit. That's a little disappointing. I feel like there's still a way to do that. Maybe we just don't know how yet? Feel like that doesn't really make sense that we wouldn't know how at the moment but I don't know I don't know what's up with that uh, we do have enough to make another formation let's do so we're getting a decent amount of laborers in which is great news it's gonna be our second shield formation really bothering me that that's not getting covered um your troop output is still basically the same Um, how are we doing? Cut stone's running a little bit low. Or... Clay's doing fine, though. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish off this corner. Why can you not get the floor? Kinda bothering me. Also, they're missing, like, one tile here. Oh no, that's just a table. Okay, we're good there. All of these are luxury houses. Uh, but we don't want to spend all of our cut stone. That would not be the greatest for us. Now, I know we have some places where we can put workers. Um, because some of our buildings lost workers when we took so many losses with the bandit raid. But I think we're going to hold off with organizing all of our workers for now. I think our main priority is going to be getting our troops up. Now let's move you up here. You guys can kind of chill here by the tower. Close enough to this house. And let's just let it play for a little bit. We don't have any events coming up. Just kind of stocking up on troops at the moment. Uh, we're full on meat chop. Full on flower. Where is malt at? I'm assuming that's a beverage material. It is not. The food material. And we need more malt. We're not really making enough of it. Let's put another worker there. 
Uh, we can max you out at 1250. Um, coffee's still doing fine. We are getting some veggie salads, which is cool. Uh, how's that doing? Let's get a third person in there. Uh, we need ovens. We could get a fourth person in there, but we'll start with the three. Just increase it by one for now. And we'll leave everything else alone. Um, I feel like it's okay to get some more backpacks going. I feel like those would be a nice thing to sell whenever we can get back into trading. Our warehouses are getting pretty full. Uh, let's destroy this building. We're not using it right now anyways. Um, and let's, if we're going to keep a warehouse right here, let's get a durable storage yard right behind it just to fill in this gap. Five by two. It's not huge, but it will help a little bit. And we can put something else in this area if we want. Could even be another storage yard. Uh, cause we can move some of our production into this area. The church could honestly move further up if we had a place for it. Might be able to fit it here. We could fit it here. How's the clinic? Uh, we have no clinic area up here. Kind of a problem. Uh, but it does overlap in both areas. Uh, so let's go ahead and remove this road. And get the church in here. So that's without the bell tower. So we'll get that in. It's back to daytime. Still no events popping up on the screen. Uh, might as well keep gathering plants. Doesn't hurt to keep grabbing the herbs. I don't mind this area right now. Eventually I would like to get rid of this area though. This area is okay. Probably end up keeping this area permanently. That's really getting on my nerves. Could we put like brick? Can we like put something else here? Oh, we can do that. You just you just want to be fancy. That's what it is. I got you. I feel you. I feel you. You just want to be fancy. Merchant ship arrived. Let's go ahead and slow this down for a minute. Maximum hunger. Iron tools. Maximum warmth. You have some weapons. Plus 40 HP for archers and elite archers. Eh. Not a huge deal. Um, if we sell any of this stuff, like wood, we have plenty of wood. That's gonna give us a thousand. Uh, how are we doing on reed? We have 16,000. Let's sell a thousand you. 1,400. Beeswax, where would you be? We have plenty of you. 500. Feathers, we can stock up on some. Same thing with leather. Iron, 250? Sure. Soybeans. We'll do 200. Stone, hold on to. Medicinal powder, hold on to. Rough clothes, a hundred. Sand, two fifty. 
All right, 2,900 to work with. I think we're going to hold on to everything else. How many iron bows can we get? Because I don't think we really want anything else, right? Nah. Let's see how these iron bows work. We can get 100 of them. Transaction. Give us the 100 bows. Now, where is that stuff at? Where, and what do military supplies do? Enhance soldier combat attribute. But that doesn't count as the weapons, right? No, because weapons are in tools. So how do we go about doing that? Squad formation. This is just to consume military supplies. I don't know how to go about that. Uh, you guys can go ahead and leave. We do have 100 bows, which is cool. Is not exactly sure uh, what that does for us. So now we have a minus 10% from our technology because we got entertainment. Um, so that's gonna boost our fertility rate by 10%, which is pretty good. Um, you need repaired. Repairman. What are you doing? Why aren't you guys working? You guys need to be repairing this. Maybe you guys didn't need the third worker in there? Uh, these two houses are getting filled up. Uh, full on sand and brick. Guys, it's settlement, so Houston came back. Typical Houston. Wouldn't mind getting some books going. Uh, but we don't really need XP output. We're at level 92, about to be 93. I am sad. Here it is. We can make decorations. I was just skimming over it. Oh, I love it. Sadly, all this stuff just costs silver, though, not materials. This stuff is expensive. Jeez. That's cool, though. Okay, we do have access to decorations. I knew it was down here. Just wasn't paying attention to the bubbles, I guess. Alright, let's go ahead and fast forward. Wait for... More troops to build up. How are people doing? Graduated, graduated, died of old age. Graduated, old age, old age. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good. I think we solved some of the freezing problems. Doesn't look like we lost anybody last winter. See if anybody goes into that marquee. Why are you guys not repairing these buildings? A lot of buildings are in need of repair. We can upgrade the advanced tailor further? Into what? Oh, clothing factory. Okay. I think we need to get some more people in here. I guess we'll just get six. We could, just for the sake of having it, put the fountain by the retirement home. I feel like that makes sense. And that's going to increase citizens happiness. So lately it's been at a consistent 78 to 80. Uh, so we'll see what that's able to do for it. 
Now I'm hoping we have less people die of old age. Leave them alone. Uh, now that we have the Warhorn in. Or no, the statue. Warhorn is for movement. Okay. Um, 598 last year. Okay, how are we doing on dung? We're doing fine on coffee beans, that's great. Dung we're actually stocking up quite nicely. Uh, we need more people making fertilizer, actually. Uh, so let's get some more people in here. Not that we're in desperate need of more crops, but... Why not, right? Don't really need wood. Is there anything specifically that we're running low on? Just take a look at all our resources. Cotton cloth, and we have a ton of cotton. I don't think we need to make more of you though. All that's looking okay. We could get another person and cut stone. Um, so let's start filling up the quarry back up, and then we'll get a third person in there. It leaves us with six, so I think we should leave things alone for the moment. Get that stuff going again. There is our horn. And hopefully this fountain gets finished rather quickly. See, it looks like this wall does connect with the mountain. Like, it looks like people can't get through there. I don't know why that's not the case all the time. Is it because it's strictly a 3 by one But even so, like having these wooden walls... I mean, they did attack the walls. So maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Smelter has tracheitis. We'll get somebody else in there. You can take a break. Uh, go in here. Get a second person in there. Even though we don't really need it. Uh, let's just max you guys out at 1500. We lost a majority of our people in our supply terminal though. Um, they're basically full anyways. Alright, we got five people ready to go. We're still waiting on three more. Uh, we'll max you out at five. Because I think you're going to finish before these guys even get close. Um, that way we don't have any pauses within our troop training. We'll go for a third formation of shields and then we'll start thinking about some archers. Still don't have any combat events coming up anytime soon. Um, there's not really too much to check out over here in our housing. So we'll zoom in over here for a bit. Check out our smelting area, our forging area, our mining and quarriers, and some of our farms. Alright, two people still have tracheitis. You are a mint worker, but you're getting treated. You're also going for treatment. All three of you are in there getting treated. So I'm not going to worry about it for the moment. Uh, we're full on refined fuel, yet we only have two people working in here. I'd like to max you out at 1500 for now. I'd like to get another person in there. Fountain is finished. Wow. Happiness went up by nearly 10% from that fountain. That's pretty huge. Getting some people to graduate. 
Still only at five people though. Houses are getting filled. Uh, we can go ahead and destroy this chapel since we have this one going. And we can put a bell tower in you. Okay, that's covering a good amount of area. What do you need? You need gowns to improve your range. Uh, gowns aren't going to be made until we get the clothing factory. We don't have anything. We don't have silk yet. So there's no way to get the next upgrade of that. Um, steel tools, 250 and 30. The next best thing is sturdy hardwood tools, which we're going to need to do some more trading and unlock reputation for that stuff. Um, we could get some ovens. I still would like to know how these bows work. Because we have a hundred. I don't know how that works. Five citizens are freezing. Let's make sure we don't lose anybody here. I'm hoping you guys will just go to the closest house, right? Or are you guys like focused on getting to your house specifically? Old age, old age, still looking good there. We do have a wild beast event and a great harvest. Uh, how are we doing over here? Veggie salad, annual production about 910. This year we've made 1520 though, so having the extra worker in there has certainly helped. How about tequila or whiskey? 366 compared to 264. Don't have anything to show for it at the moment. Um, but I'm sure that's the first thing that everybody's grabbing. We're almost past the 100% mark for both of those, which is really awesome. Um, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get some more theaters down. But we have nobody making costumes at the moment. Um. Kind of like to keep somebody here. To keep making rough clothes just because it's something that we can sell. I feel like it sells for a decent amount. I feel like it's still worth grabbing. Um, this storage yard is full. It seems like it's carrying a decent amount. So, I think it's worth upgrading. Get some more storage in there. Full on meat chop. Um, I'm gonna say it's time to finally get this salt making going. And then we need a curing workshop as well. So first is resources. Get a salt works. You're going to have to go on the water. Um, sadly, we can't really put you close to all the food. Put you here. Go get a transfer station. I mean, we have one here. But our transfer stations are pretty full. Uh, 
Uh, but let's get that going because that's going to give us another style of simple food. So this gives 15 and 40. 20 and 40 for the salted meat. And 20 and 40 for salted fish. So it's going to give us more hunger. Same amount of happiness as the veggie salad. But the more simple food we can get out, the further up our happiness is going to go. Uh, salt production techniques as an edict. Salt production. The output of salt works increased by 40%. I feel like is pretty good. Um, we're just going to stock up on you. We're going to only put three people in there for now. But we can get baskets in here to increase efficiency. And I think right away uh, it's in processing. I think it's the curing workshop. Um, this actually fits perfectly up here. You're just really far away from the salt works. We'll do it for now. If we ever want to move it, we can. Um, yeah, that's okay. Seems like our hunter's hut is still doing pretty decent, even for being way out here. Struck by lightning, picking mushrooms. That's a tragic way to go. Died of old age. I think everywhere else we're looking pretty good, though. People are dying of old age. None too serious to worry about. What are we out of again? Malt? Um, I mean, we can get another worker in here. But that's about it. Check on our troops. We can go ahead and get another formation going. Let's do so. Uh, you guys are still full squadrons of eight, which is great. So now we have 24 shield men going. The faster we can push this out, the better, before some of our current formations start taking losses. Uh, like to old age. But I'm hoping that that statue really does help. It looks like 75 is still the oldest. But we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, you just finished. Let's go ahead and bring you up here. You. What do we have more of? Meat chop or fish? Definitely fish. Uh, yeah. Let's go salted fish. You really should have no max number. Um, but you're going to be waiting on salt. Gotta wait till we get some of that salt made. Uh, fishing pond. We cannot put more people in here. Docks are still full. Not enough materials. We must not have enough fodder. Wouldn't mind getting some more fodder factories down. We do have some immigrants coming in. A little scared to take those guys in. Uh, because I don't want the plague again. 80 beeswax, 340 fat. I mean, we'll take the 102 silver. We have a plenty of beeswax, but it doesn't help us too much. Another merchant coming in soon. I would like to get an archer formation before these beasts hit. Don't know if that's going to be doable or not. Um, I don't think it's a bad idea, though, to start getting some of these stone walls around our colony. Yeah, I don't think that reaches to the edge of the water, though. Um, but let's just get an outer border, an outer defense. 
That way if anybody spawns too close to our buildings, hopefully they'll have to hit the wall first. I don't know if we're too far or too close to the edge with those. I'm not sure if they'll just spawn over or, or they'll still have to go through them. But if anything, it'll slow them down. Specifically the wild bees. Um, could build some walls around this bandit camp to slow them down a bit. I don't think that would be a bad idea. But we're kind of to the edge of the territory to where if we place walls within their range, they're just going to shoot them down anyways like they did our transfer station. Uh, so we have to be careful with that. Uh, two, four, so we're at seven. We nearly get another one. All these houses are full. Still nobody in the marquee though. Out of curiosity. Cut stone floor, earthquake for three times, level one through three. Four times, level one through four. So the shockproof brick floor is better than the cut stone. Good to know. I figured that would be the case, but wasn't exactly sure. Uh, you're just a laborer, so we don't need to take you off a job or anything to keep you safe. You are already getting started on the salted fish, so we'll put two people in there. We actually got quite a few workers rather quickly. Um... Not really a need to max out on coffee. Let's keep getting it. If anything, we can probably sell it. Out of curiosity. Beverages. Coffee sells for 3.08, 3.6, 4.2 for Rania. Um, so that's pretty decent. Since autumn began, never before seen str Mushrooms have been found by gatherers to be sprouting in the wild. It does not look like a poisonous species. I'm pretty sure last time it was like, oh, psych. It's actually poisonous. So we'll just throw you away. Pretty sure the game lied to me last time. Yeah, I don't think the wall reaches the edge of the water there. But it does reach the edge of the mountains. Um, we have just enough to get an archery camp in. Where are these bees coming from? They spawned right next to our village. What the heck, dude? Uh, shield men. Let's start moving in. You guys are gonna come this way. Alright, we got a tiger and a tiger. Please hit one of our buildings before hitting our troops. Oh, don't hit our citizens, dude. Don't be a jerk. What are you going after? Buildings? Okay, that's fine. You're going after the house. We can hit you while you're taking down the house. Don't kill any soldiers, please. One time speed it. All right. We've lost a vendor. I'm not too worried about that. Only lost a vendor. One beast down. We took no damage. We need him to engage with another building first. Before we attack, we need him to engage with another building. Preferably before he kills some of our citizens. Retreat! Retreat! Oh no, this is perfect timing. Go in, go in. Ah, uh, he's gonna get that house down. Uh, we got two troops nearby. Alright. Uh, he's going after some of our citizens now. Archer formation's not ready. Please hit another building. Everybody, please go attack. Oh no. Hit him! Don't let him kill you! 
No! It's two down. Nice. Okay, we lost two troops and one citizen. For two tigers, I'm not going to complain. I think uh, we did pretty well there. Houston, leave each other alone. Not bad. I think we I think we handled that well. Let's go ahead and get all these buildings rebuilt. Should have only lost those three. Calm down, Houston. You big baby. Not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Fast forward uh, some time. Might as well max you guys out at 3k. And we kind of want to get another one of these. Uh, so we can get the meat going. Processing, curing workshop. Is there like a neat place that we can put you? You guys would fit well right here. Um, I think we can afford to get rid of these two houses. I think that's okay. Lamp oil's still rocking just fine. Oh, you use iron tools. Okay. Not bad at all. And we're keeping up with it. Nice. Uh, we have plenty of iron, so let's just go for 2,000. Houston is just um, choosing violence today for some reason. Keeps going after Enzo. And then he'll cry about it. Uh, you can't start a fight and then cry about it when you lose, dude. You can't do that. That's some weak stuff right there. That's weak. Weak, Houston. Population has 51% impact now. Um, so I think really what we need to go for is uh, some more housing upgrades. I think that's what's really going to help us here. Uh, so let's go ahead and upgrade another five for the time being. And then a majority of houses in this area are going to be fully upgraded. You are making baskets in this one, my friend. We'll get you back on that. Merchant ship arrived. Uh, he has a bunch of different weapons, military supplies, rat meat. Harmful to health if eaten directly, but you can roast rat meat at the barbecue house. Food obtained by slaughtering rats in Hunter's Hut. Is that like an event thing? I've never seen that before. I think we're okay for this ship. I think we're okay. We do need to take this bandit camp out. Um, cause 13k of our money. I'm pretty sure they stole 16k, didn't they? Uh, so where's our other 3k at? We're getting gypped. The heck's that about? All right, we have four formations. Probably look to get like four or five more if I'm being honest. Before trying to tackle on that bandit camp. You're going to go for salted meat. We'll get two people in here. Um, and then we should start getting some decent, simple food going. And that's going to boost our happiness even further. We're looking pretty good there. Um, I don't think it hurts to get a fourth person in salt works. I think we're gonna be using quite a bit of salt 
Make sure we're still gathering plants in these areas. Um, you're just waiting on more inventory. We're full on fertilizer. Max you out at 2,500 because we don't want that to be the case. Full on leather shoes. Uh, 500. Don't want that to be the case. Flour, we're, we're just not using yet. I'm not worried about that. Uh, steel. I think 1,500 is okay. 500 is okay for the time being. Planks. We, we can go 750. I feel like you guys sell for a decent amount, if anything. Ink. We're okay for the moment. Rope. Okay for the moment. About to have a great harvest, and then we're about to have some immigrants come in. Population's at 679. That is a decent amount. We're at tech level 95. Um, is it time to start going for hand carts? Basket transport. Hand carts are made at the forge, right? Or the smithy? Yes, they are. So we need to get another smithy down, which wouldn't be a problem. Um. Wouldn't mind getting more housing over here at some point in time. Uh, just to make sure these workers are close to a home. I'm a little hesitant to destroy these two houses. Advanced smithy. It could fit there, but it's not even, which is going to bother me. Um, Wouldn't fit there without a road. If we move the tower, I wouldn't mind you right here. Actually, even with the tower, right there's not a bad spot. I also wouldn't mind just deconstructing these walls right here. I don't think we really need those walls anymore. So let's go ahead and unlock the handcart, finally. Which was in logistics go ahead and get that going for us and before we go any further we are going to go ahead and end the episode here uh we handled the beast event pretty well we have four formations three shields one archer so we're going to keep building up our troops until we are very confident that we can take on this bandit camp still five more years until our next raid we should have plenty of time to build up the troops needed to take that down um we reorganized here a bit, continuing to do so. Uh, we're getting a decent amount of labor, so it might be time to start adding some production in the central area and just kind of expanding on that. Uh, but we're just trying to keep everything organized at this point. A lot of our food stuff is up here. We have some housing to make up for it. Uh, this is kind of a residential area which I might just stick to residential like here and then keep this a, like a central residential area. And we're definitely gonna keep this one. So if we could make like all of this production, I feel like things would be organized pretty well. Might be a good idea to get like a supply terminal here or even a delivery station. Um, for things like salt, we can store our malt here. Um, because these storage yards are filling up quickly um, which means stuff that we're making here is probably getting sent like way over here where there's free space um, so just trying to keep on improving our logistics keep building up our military troops to take on that bandit camp and uh, trying to boost our fertility rate happiness and health as always I appreciate y'all for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, peace out, y'all.